Hey guys, it's Armel here, here, and I have a uh, special request video from one of my viewers on YouTube. His name is Anki Talkman, and he wanted to see some of the new features in iOS 5's photo app. Uh, so I wanted to do this video, give you guys a quick walkthrough of some of the really cool new features and photos that you did not have before. Uh, you have the ability to edit photos, create new albums, move photos within albums, and um, do a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So let's take a look. You can see in here I have the camera roll. Um, I have an album called Anki Talk Man. And I have one called YouTube that I created with some photos in it. So if I wanted to create a new album, all I would do up here is hit edit. And it has an option right here to create a new album. You just hit that, uh, give it a name, hit save, and you got yourself a new album. Now you can also delete albums right here. You can see the little tiny X's and I could delete some of these albums that I had created. Now, deleting the albums and moving the photos around does not remove it from your Photos app. It merely um, changes the uh, organization structure. So, deleting the album is fine. You won't lose any photos. Okay? So, um, that's how easy it is to create one. Now, let's say we want to move some photos around or remove some photos out of an album. We go into the Anki Talk Man album here. And let's say we want to take this photo, this lovely uh, 1970s Photoshop of me. And... Uh, we want to do some stuff to it so we can edit it and uh, you see the edit function up here when you hit that you've got the uh, rotate which you can also do I believe you can do it with your fingers or did they disable that so yeah that's disabled you have to use uh, the rotate feature here uh, you can auto enhance you can red eye correction or you can hit crop and you know crop some stuff around like that you just hold the edges I guess and uh, move it so you got that, you can cancel that out, and you're right back to, to new again. So cancel out the edit. There you go. Editing super easy. Uh, I can run a slideshow. I can go in here, email it, assign it to a contact, use it as wallpaper, print it, copy the photo, or tweet it out. So we got Twitter integration built right in. Really cool. We also have AirPlay. So you can see all my Air, uh, AirPlay clients here that I could just AirPlay it out to. Uh, I could actually trash this photo, and it would delete it all the way off. So at this point, when you're in the single photo view, you can actually delete the photo off your iPad, but when you're in album view, uh, it's just changing the organizational structure. So um, there you go. You're inside of an album now. You hit this little arrow at the top right, and it gives you um, some options once you actually select the photo. So if I select this one here and I hit remove, it would actually remove it out of this particular album. So there we go, and it's out of there. Now, what else? Uh, I can also put it in a different album. So let's go in here. Let's say we take this photo of uh, my friend Chris, we take that and we're going to say add it to. It says, do you want to add it to an existing album or do you want to uh, add it to a new album? So say I wanted to move it to the Anki Talk, I just say go ahead and um, put it in an existing. Now select Anki Talk and it'll put, and notice it keeps it in, uh, in order. So Anki Talk now has that new photo at the end. And... Um, the same photo is also still kept in your previous album, so it's not like you're losing stuff. It's essentially creating a new copy and putting it in, and I'll demonstrate that again. So let's go back in here. We'll take this photo of me when I first got my iPad 2. Uh, we're going to move that to the Anki Talk album. Add existing. Put it in there. Voila. You can see that it's still in YouTube, but if I go in Anki Talk, it's also in here now. So basically what it's doing is creating copies and moving them around in there. So there you have it, guys. You got a quick preview of some of the powerful, cool new features that you have in the Photos app for iOS 5. Uh, again, you can um, ask questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If you want video requests, do the same thing, and I can try and make you uh, a video uh, to describe what it is that you have questions about. You can follow me on Twitter at rmalieri, or you can follow my brand new iOS site where we bring you all the latest and greatest in the world of iOS at iOS App Advice on Twitter and at iosappadvice.com on the web. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, we'll see you later. Peace.